Okay, welcome friends to another Red Raider contest. You also have right now Gary McNeil, T. Hey, Smith with you tonight. And uh, we got the band coming out here. Northeastern, we are Northeastern High School. Uh, we got about a minute or so to go for the game. Uh, Keith, do you have anything that you might want to talk about other than other than what happened last week? Other than the fact is, we're Thank sitting you. right next to the band, Gary, and it's loud tonight. Scouting report coming in. Northeastern's one and one. They've got a win over South Charleston Southeastern. Uh, behind the halftime, come back and win that ball game. And then they lost last week to Indian Lake. So uh, I'm looking for a great ball game tonight, Gary. What about how about uh, how about London? We got London coming in with also a one and one. And uh, London started out pretty good the first game and beat Kenton Ridge for the pretty good score. But then they come back and had some problems and uh, seemed like the offense didn't have it together. So I'm sure to. Coach Calhoun worked on that uh, all week to get them kinks out of that offense and get oh. things rolling. So. I was super impressed last week with Big Walnut's speed, especially from their their offensive backfield and their linebackers and their defensive backs. And I just don't know if we're going to see that kind of speed out of any of these other teams that we're going to be facing. That much speed. Now, they've got a couple of speeches here. At, uh, Northeastern always has at least one or two speeches, I know. And I've been told there's one. I'm not sure which guy it is. We'll find out soon enough. Uh, as we get ready for, uh, well, they got the Jets signed up, but the team is already on the field. Or what? I guess London signed saying beat the Jets. Oh, okay. Here they come now, Here come Gary. the Raiders with the uh, additional Coach Calhoun leading them onto the field. Looks like the coaching staff went out and bought some nice new red shirts. Uh, we'll have to see if we can get some orders for those up here, Gary. There you go. Of course, we're not going to be able to be on uh, in front of the camera tonight. The facilities aren't quite as as uh, up to snuff as London is, but even at that, it's nice. As the band kicks, fight, fight, fight for victory. See London in their away white uniforms tonight. I didn't catch who's gonna do what, or who's deferring or who's kicking off, but uh, plus I'm not sure who's gonna be quarterback. We know we had uh, two quarterbacks running last week with uh, Deo, and Dickens. It's really neat how the coach is able to slip Deo in there and uh, more or less pick up a beat when things are falling. Fun. And I think London's been very quiet this week about what they are going to do at the quarterback position. I haven't heard much of anything from any of the any of the media or from any of the parents of the kids. So they, they must be going to keep this tight to their belt on what they're going to do with their quarterback tonight. Well, I tell you what, Northeastern's ready to play. They come out when, when they first got on the field earlier. You probably heard them clear down in South Vienna. They are ready. they come out ready to play. So if London's going to compete with them tonight, they better be have their A game coming out there. Well, this morning Springfield paper uh, had a highlight article on their quarterback on how much he's improved over the past two years. Uh, he's number two. Uh, Larry Olivier, so we're going to look for a lot of things out of him tonight. Apparently he likes to put the ball up in the air. Well, that name tells you something right there. Olivier, that, that, that's a mouthful right there. So Here we go to kick off. Who we got kicking off here? Sean Myers. Sean Myers. Drops the ball on about the 12-yard line, and we got, <laughs> was that for speech, or look what we got going here. First play of the game, kick off. We got to return all the way back up to about the 45. 45 yard line. What about what kind of return would you say that was? About a 50 yard return? We're talking close? about a 50 yard return. That was number 23, Cameron Russell, a senior. Maybe they are a lot quicker than what I might give them some uh, credit for. I'm telling you that. I've been told I work here at Navistar and uh, uh, a lot of people from this area work here, and that's all I'm hearing is they got some really quick, speedy run ball players. So, uh, you ready for a ball game? A lot up in the pro eye, wide to this side. And he's wrapped up real quick by number 69. That's Micah Stokes, number 69. He's 6'5", 240, so he's, he's hard to get by. There's no, uh, matter of fact, we took a little loss on that one. Looks like gonna be about second and 15. Try 14. I'm going by the board. <laughs> Looks like number 51, Kyle Thomas, is getting a first start tonight for the Red Raiders. So 
Big night for him. Big on retiree over there. Right side of the Olivier line. back to pass. He lays it up. They take the, and there ought to be some interference there. They're calling nothing, but I tell you what, it looked like there was some interference on that play. Nice defense by Brandon Wheeler, number 18, and that was number 23 that ran back the kickoff out there on the attempted reception. He's quick. Yep, uh, that just kind of shut your theory out to the window, didn't it? <laughs> That's a. Uh, Took a note out of London's playbook from last year. Throw it up there and let the receivers run underneath of it. If you got some kids can catch the ball, you can make things happen that way. Third and 14. Still in the pro eye, wides to both sides. Sets back throw, sets in the pocket. Almost intercepted by number 69, Inlow. No, Inlow's 89, isn't he? That's, that's Micah Stokes, number Stokes, 69. Okay. And you're 6'5", and you get your hands up in the air with good fundamental defense. Uh, hard to get it over top of for the 5'11 quarterback. So they're going to go four and out, fourth and 14 on the 49-yard line. Let's see if they got that. Uh, Looks like Myers and Wheeler back on the return for London. Myers and Wheeler. A lot sure of speed. hands Wheeler. I look like if he put his hands up, he might have been able to, uh, to, um, Yeah, number block four, Jordy Captain. Jackson was real close on that. Yeah, he was smart enough to back off and not make an interference call with the boot of kicker, but like the same token, looked like if he'd had his hands up, he might have been able to block that. From here, it looked that way. As London takes over first and 10 on the 14-yard line. So Northeastern Jets go out first Four and out. Looks like number 10, Josh Dickens, going to get the start at quarterback for London. Three and out. Okay, Carl. I was just been uh, corrected, politically correct. <laughs> Three and a punt. How's that? <laughs> I knew that. Quick handoff to, uh, I believe that's, that's Jordan Brock. Jordan Brock. That was a nice solid five-yard pickup there from number 32 to sophomore Jordan Brock. They're looking for big things out of Jordan in, in the time to come. He's uh, really a stocky kid, hard hitter, hard nose. Speedster on the track team. He's an athlete. Wheeler split far out to the left. I'd look for them maybe to try something early here. They probably got a speedster out there with them. Oh, Andre Tyree. They take him down, but not after, after a first down. And that's the situation where he, he, two or three people got to get a hold of him. One hit him high, one hit him low while he was turning around and trying to make the run. A good play on Dickens' part to be able to keep his body composure and be able to get the ball, get the pass on. Very good composure and a nice solid possession route from Tyree just getting out into the flat and uh, a nice first down from London. Very visible the size he is. How can you miss seeing him? <laughs> but he's quick. He slips out there and nobody knows him. Pitch out to Brock on the right side. He's going to go for about five yards. Number 21 from Northeastern. I don't know if we caught it on TV. He grabbed him about four yards back and was dragging on his belly trying to <laughs> get Jordan down. How big is this number 21? 148 pounds. That's not very big. But he had him wrapped solid. He did what he had to, what he's supposed to do is get a hold of him and slow the play up. You can't bring him down until you get help there to help bring him down. Second and five, last time London passed in this situation. Wide outs to both sides. Oh, and we got somebody move. Not sure who. We'll find out here in a second. It's against London. The illegal procedure. Did I get that right, Carl? Is that politically correct? Politically correct. I feel a lot better than I did in that tennis match the other night. Oh, man. I think next week you're going to have to do the golf matches, Gary. That would be almost as exciting <laughs> as the tennis matches. Oh, uh, they, they did a good job. The girls had fun. I'm the only one that didn't have any fun because I wasn't feeling too good. And they won. Yeah, they did. 5-0 five, five oh or 4-1. So, so how, can you, how can you knock them? Cut that out, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Dickens got time. He bears it out. Does he have the room? Oh. 
Flag down on the play. Looks like interference. That <laughs> interference is a judgmental call, and it's hard to make that call. You gotta tell you. It's like we got a yellow flag down and a red flag down out there. That <laughs> red flag lost. might be a headband. But that's gonna be a nice first down for London. Well, I tell you what, if it isn't, uh, Dickens had mucho room to run. Yes, he did. Looked like from this side, but he stuck with the play and made the call and made the play. So we're moving the flags. It will be uh, first and ten. Eight, the, eight thirty-eight uh, left to play in the first quarter. Forty-nine yard line. No score as of yet. That would have been a heck of a catch by Wheeler. That's 14. Wheeler up the middle. That's 49. 45 That's or 14. That's Wheeler, 45. 45. Okay, if Miss Angle, I couldn't tell the, what the number is. See, we've also got, I'm looking at the size of uh, Northeastern's team. I don't know if they have freshmen out there or not, but they got a lot of kids out. Yeah. It's like second and nine. Second and nine on the 47 yard line. Sets up the throw and it's overthrown. And that was a fundamental play, but it was an unnecessary hit because the ball, there's no way he could not see that ball cleanly or clean over the receiver's head. But you make contact some kind of way, let him know, hey, I'm here. Yep. So you catch that, that might, ball. That might have been a message there from yeah. the cornerback. You catch that ball, I'm going to ring your bell next time. It's third and eight on the 47 yard line. We're still in the first quarter with 7.53 to go. In there. London's put wide receiver, or Jordan Brock out to the left, the tailback, in a wide receiver position. Dickens rolling on the left side, and he's met by a host of tackles. That's no go. He was hit hard by number 36. He might have picked Blake up about two yards. And we got a fourth and seven. None of looking at a punting situation. Right now, it looks like it's going to be a fight for field goal, or I mean, for field position. That's Josh Inlow back to make the punt for London. Who's back for uh, Northeastern? Number like one. Number one, Phillips, one of the running backs, and number. So like maybe 11, Fisher or the other running back. So good high punt, end over end. Fair catch. When I say end over end, I'm, I'm not saying it right because it's a good high spiral and the nose is coming down. End over end would be like an extra point kick. That's not what I'm meaning, good high spiral. I'll try to correct that because I've already been approached with, about that. Well, if you look at the first series of downs here, you know, Northeastern went three downs and punt. London managed to roll off about three first downs and punt, so they won about 30 yards on the field possession game. But that don't win your ball games. So right now we're running pretty much neck and neck. Northeastern is coming to the near side of the field. He's cornered up right on the number by number 10, nice, Josh Dickens. Nice play by number 10, Josh Dickens. That was, that was a little flare pass to number 11, Clint Fisher, the tailback. Looks like a loss of about four yards. Second and 14, we're still in the first quarter, 6.45 to go. No score. Beautiful night for football. We're kind of in this little booth and it's kind of warm in here. I think it's probably cooler out there. Later on in the season, we'll be glad to be in the booth. Yep, no doubt about that. Oh, big number 64. That's <laughs> Marcus Gandy in there on the defense. Marcus Gandy, nice help us out, Carl. Marcus Gandy, his uh, brother went on to play at uh, OU, is that right, Carl? I'm not sure whether they got redshirted last year, but I think he might be uh, stepping it up this year from what I'm hearing, if I'm hearing right. And Marcus is bigger than his brother. Uh, he did look like he swallowed that kid. I mean, he's a, he's a monster. 
Well, so far, Northeastern's got negative yardage from their offense tonight, so shotgun formation. They get that pass working on somebody's in trouble. Uh-oh, London, ooh. Well, if that pass had been on the money, somebody had been in trouble because number 31 for London, who is? Russell. Russell fell down on the play, and uh, pass was just a little overthrown, or that would have been trouble. It's like London's made some adjustments on their defense. I see quite a few new new faces out there, people that might have been second team. Um, they're getting a chance to play tonight. You've seen a lot of young faces out there. Yes, which is good for the program. Right. People that come out of your program. Ooh, Jordy Jackson just about gets his second. Going to get a return this time. Sean Myers. Got a nice. Got a, got a flag on the play. And usually, when, from the area it come from, it looked like it might be a clip. Nice run by Sean Myers. He keeps his head up and looking for a seam to get down. And, and good job from his blocking, his up blocking back there, uh, Wheeler. It's going to be a big penalty, I believe, though. It doesn't look good. From the area the flag was thrown, it looked like it's probably a. You say maybe a block in the back? Block in the back. Yep, clip, a block below, a clip. And that happens so easy, it's hard to uh, sometimes contain yourself when you think you're going to be able to help get your... Well, that's going to put London back 15 yards from the spot of the foul, so that's going to make them come back about 25 yards almost from where Myers put it down, so that's a, that's a hurtful penalty there. I see right next so now, to the band here, Gary. Mission rule of the week. Uh, they moved the flags back to that spot. Is that where the flags should go, or should we have uh, extra 15 yards to go? Uh, I don't understand that. that mark off, Gary. <laughs> I'm not sure either. I thought it was 15 from the spot of the infraction. Jordan Brock over right tackle. He's good for about five or six. Let's say four. Good for about four yards, making it about second and six. Get a good, picking up the band real good here. We're right over top of the uh, Northeastern Jets band. They are busy. We are coming through good and clear, aren't we, Carl? Okay. Mix up in there, but pull back dive to Wheeler. That's Willard. Or Willard, yeah. Willard, he's run into his own man in the backfield there. But he did a nice job of bouncing it outside. And it seems like a steady name we're seeing tonight is Blake Flora for Northeastern on, on another tackle. He's 6'1, 247 pound linebacker. That's a pretty good sized fella. We're down. Oh, actually, go ahead. Yeah, he's a linebacker. We're down to four, right over four minutes to go in the first quarter. We still have no score. London, third and two on a 42-yard line. London lines up on the short side of the field here. Wheeler's got single coverage on top of your screen. Let's get the two yards first. Run right into a host of tacklers. Nice tackle by number seven, Justin Allen. <laughs> That's going to make going to make a coaching decision come from London here when we're Got talking right. fourth and less than a yard, and they're sending in a play. Well, what's the shortest distance between two points? Might see the fullback. <laughs> what do you say, Carl? Quarterback sneak, huh? Tell you what, the line better get up pretty hard because I'm got almost a yard. He got a good yard to go. That's Jordan Brock Jordan up the middle. He dies for it. I think he's got it. He makes that extra lunge, that extra dive, and he's moved the chains. That would have probably been a play out of running play before, but I'm not the coach. Could be a big confidence booster for London's offense tonight. They've moved the ball with some success, but the last drive did stall out. So. We're down to the three minute mark. First quarter, first and 10 on Northeastern Jets 
38 yard line. Gonna keep the same formation, Jordan Block off the right side. He's still moving. Give that young man about six, seven yards. And we got a flag, and who's that against? I don't want to say. Looks like we might have an unsportsmanlike conduct there. This is something we don't want to get into. Looks like they're talking to Northeastern, so it looks like it could be a potential penalty on London. Well, you're going to have things said, and if other teams know that you get irate real easy and get upset real easy, and they're going to come at you with some sayings and slurs and slangs and whatever that it takes to ring your bell. You just got to suck it up and keep on playing. Looks like he's waved off the flag, which greets with many, many boos from the Northeastern faithful here on the Parents nice, so Northeast has got a pretty good crowd tonight. London's got a pretty good crowd over there too. Second and four. Go, bootleg. Oh, he's down. Slipped on the field, good bootleg, looking for, uh, I believe Wheeler might have been looking for Wheeler in the flat. Like he had Wheeler on the long route and he had Tyree on the short route with the tight end. So. He also had uh, 21. Tyree. Okay, no, who's, who's that coming off the field there? Oh, Myers. Myers. He must have had three receivers on that side of the field. Yeah. I was reading it backwards. Well, it's going to be 12. third and 12 now from the 40. And so would you say this is a passing down? <laughs> I, would, I would think so. We got Wheeler out wide to the right with Inlow in a slot. Jordan Brock, the tailback. And we got He's a out penalty. To the left. Not sure what the deal is. Somebody might have lined up in the neutral zone. I didn't see anybody jump. Looks like they might have just lined up offside for one. Yeah. So that's going to make it third and 17 from the 45. That gives you more room to throw that long pass now. <laughs> now we bring Deo in and let him wing that long pass. We'll go back in the same formation with Wheeler out wide to the right, in low in the slot, and Brock. Shotgun formation. Dickens run to the left. He's trying to find some room. And he's caught up and hog tied and wrestled down to the ground for no gain at all. He looked nice. like he got clothesline and a possible uh, nice. face mask on that. Nice job by number 21, Clark, Scott Clark, the, the safety, turning him back inside and not, not allowing Dickens to get around the corner there. So London's in punt formation once again. Josh Inlow, be doing the punting for London. Fourth and 12 on the 43. He'll have to punt across field, but he can put this in the end zone from here. Good. It's like he's punted Good away from the, and get that ball down. Goes into the end zone. Into the end zone. So it will come out, but can I safely say it'll come out to the 20 yard line? That's gonna come out to the 20, Gary. I can't remember what uh, rule we gave last week, but uh, I was uh, caught by an official and he told me, said that uh, we were not correct on that rule. So I've asked him to uh, write down a couple rules of the week and write it down the way it's supposed to be done. And we'd more than be more than glad to let the public know what the rules are so that when they do start fussing raising cane, they know that they're fussing on the right, you know. There, there are many differences in the in the rules of the high school game versus the college versus the pro game, and it is interesting to point those out. Versus the Pee Wee League. Versus the Pee Wee League, that's <laughs> a lot different. <laughs> Olivier under center, back to pass. He's got 23 open. He's got all day to throw it. Wheeler's intercepts the Wheeler. ball. Beautiful interception. Wheeler's got room. Down the sideline, he'll be run out of bounds on about. Us Myers, what? No, it's Wheeler. Carl, shut up. <laughs> Y'all can't hear Carl. He's on. He's on me again. Looks like we got a flag down on the field, and I think that's going to go against London.
Looks like they called an illegal block on the return against London. Unnecessary block, huh? Nice play by Brandon Wheeler, though. He covered his man, even though they didn't look like they were going to throw his way. I tell you what, Coach Calhoun doesn't like it. He's, he's uh, letting the official know how that block was. And I tell you what, Calhoun is coming out of the college ranks. I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. Uh, that, that play was right in front of him, Gary. So Unlike sure. me, Carl just said, I'm, I'm taking Carl's lead. Unlike me. That play happened right in front of the London bench, so I'm sure they got a good view of it. What you're saying is they got an eye for, huh? But the thing of it is, London's ball. Well, what that's really going to hurt, yeah. Great advantage having London's ball, but that's that's going to mark them back either 10 or 15 from the spot of the foul. So actually, Wheeler actually going out on the northeastern 20, and this ball is going to be all the way back <laughs> to the London 47. So first and 10 from London 47. Looks like Dickens going to stay in at quarterback. We got 20 seconds in this quarter here, so we'll just run this quarter out. He airs it out. He's got Wheeler out there. Wheeler makes the catch, hangs onto the ball, and he's back down to about the 15-yard line before he's taken down. Nice athletic ability there by Brandon Wheeler. He he went up for the ball, he found it, made a beautiful catch. And that's basically what he's he's known for anyway, is making those kind of catches. Throw it up there and let him do his do his thing. We're down to 12 seconds. Well, you used to eight seconds on that play. Still in the first quarter. I'm not sure we're going to get this play off till the end of the first quarter. Clock's kicking fast. We got it off. Jordan Brock. He wants that touchdown. He's down to about the. Inside the 10, I believe. Inside the 10. Looks like he picked up about almost six yards there, Gary. So we're changing London's the field so I can see what's going on. Now. You got enough room for cameraman for that in the field? Okay. I was talking to their cameraman. It looks like London's going to start the second quarter with excellent field position going into score at the Northeastern nine yard line. As we pick up the scoreboard, I guess we have or haven't, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, here we have a score going into the second quarter. Home nothing, guess nothing. Home being Northeastern, guess being London. Second and five on a 10 yard line. London will be taking over. Let's see if we can zoom in on the London's faithful over there. We also want to pick up the West, uh, the Northeastern Jets cheerleaders, give them some play and their band. London student section showed up in force tonight. Carl's just about ready to scan them. Got a pretty good following there. Of course, we're only 10 minutes down the road, so this is almost like a cross-town rivalry we're going to be running up against next week over at West Jack. 10 minutes till you get hit with the traffic jam in South Vienna. <laughs> the Corn Festival. <laughs> so I'm going to get you a brat. First play of the second, second quarter. Yard. Another nice tackle by number 36, Blake Flora. He looks like a player, Gary. They got they got some players out there. What's going to happen is we're going to have to find out who's able to make his first touchdown and get on the board first, and that might make the difference. Throw out 
right off to the right. Quick handoff to Jordan Brock again. And he's in. He's in. He was not going to be denied that touchdown. He bounced off of one tackler, another, and rolled over another to score a touchdown. Jordan Brock is fighting for some more play, extra playing time. I'll tell you, Gary, I don't know where that hole was at, but Jordan sure found it. He made one. It wasn't too much of a hole there. I don't think he was more or less just taking people with him. The young man's strong. He's going to put him a spot in London history. You watch. As we go up six to nothing with 11, 13 to go in the second quarter, Sean Mars sets up the kick. They'll be holding the ball for London. London will have a fresh snapper this week. He did a good job, though. It's good. He's looking uh, more like the Sean Mars we've seen of old. He's kind of in a rut, seems like the last few weeks, but uh, this looks really good tonight. So, London draws first blood, seven to nothing. 13, 11, 13 to go in the second quarter. Here we got a shot of the Jet cheerleaders. I don't know their names, but um, they do a fine job. I see them out here practicing when I'm going home from work almost every day. And people don't really give the cheerleaders enough play because they work just as hard as the football team does. They're out there doing all these gymnastics and working hard. It's only fair to give them you know, equal amount of time too when you can. Well, for the second time tonight, Sean Myers, number 12, will be kicking off for London. Which is a good sign. We're just getting into the uh, second quarter. 11 13 to go, like I said before. 7 up in London. You can bet your boots that North is not going to roll over. They're going to oh, no. come at us. This school's got way too much football tradition just to roll over, that's for sure. That first kickoff return they had on us uh, kind of scared me. That looks like it's going to number 23 for the second time tonight. He, can, he picks up a wall. He's coming wide. He's got side. a nice wall around the left-hand side. He's got a whole host of blockers out there. He's got some room. Another beautiful return for about 40-some yards. Beautiful return coming all the way across the field. Can you imagine how far it went? It's been going straight down the field. A long run, but I don't know if we caught it on camera. He had a whole host of blockers out there. The in whole front team, of him. I believe, was there. It was a very nice team effort by Northeastern on okay, that Washington return. Washington has got a beautiful return, kickoff return set up there. That's twice in a row. I saw Clerk uh, run right by him. He was down there so quickly, he just run right by him. That's going to be first down from the 37 yard line. From London 37. So they're Terrific. right back in our territory and they're loose again. Hand off the tailback, number 11, Clint Fisher. They've got kind of a two tailback system. Also, you'll see number one, Adam Phillips, get some playing time. From time to time, you might hear a couple other voices in here. We're in a press box with the uh, fine camera people from Northeastern. They was nice enough to share the box with us. So from time to time, you might hear them uh, saying a few things. From time to time, you might hear the band too, Gary. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> we got choice seats right here at Northeastern. And if they can help us out with some of the names once in a while, I'll be more than happy to take their help. Looks like going to be a delay of game on Northeastern. That's too bad because it's second and three on the three. They just had a seven yard game. Not going to have to delay the game. It's going to knock them back. Five yards. Makes a second and eight down. All on the 35 yard line. Second quarter, 10 26 to go in the second quarter. They're kind of keeping my eye out here on number 70. 72 for Northeastern. I was wondering what that he's, was. Put it, put it back in. He's a 300 pound sophomore playing Soph left tackle. Sophomore. He's going up against Tyree tonight. Did a nice job there. 
Yeah, they're, they're finding a hole on this left side. They're not running away from Tyree. That was that, was, that was that second tailback we were talking about, number one, Adam Phillips there. That's a big man. Well, you'll notice this is the second week in a row the teams were running right at number 21. Uh, Andre Tyree and sometimes the philosophy there is that he's so quick in pursuit that if you run right at him You might minimize his effectiveness on defense overplaying maybe. But he still made a lot of tackles last week. It didn't work out well But run right at him again Picked up about a couple yards that time we'll Make it about third and five from the London 22. It's like second and seven. I thought that would be third down. Well, they just made a first down just a minute ago. So we're looking at second and seven on the 23 yard line. Second man through. He's got room. Oh. He gets his helmet taken off of him. Number one. That's Adam Phillips on the run there. Three consecutive times Northeastern's tried to run right over top of left tackle. Uh, the Miller, the 300 pounder there. And that time they faked it and got the ball to the outside. And number one, Adam Phillips made a nice run. Phipps. Phipps. Huh? Phipps. Phipps. We That's keep Adam saying Phillips. Phillips. We thank you a lot. That's why I just got this in. I hope the cameraman over here would give us some insight on some of this. Thanks a lot. Adam Phipps. Sorry about that, folks. Now they go to the other side. Little That's going to put Northeastern almost inside the London 10-yard line. So. so far, they've shown they can move the ball. And they're knocking on the door right here. They're just outside of the 10. With, looks like it's gonna be, they're going to be able to get a first down inside the down to three if they can get there. They're calling a second and eight on the ten. <laughs> They've been pretty conservative, just just running inside mostly except for an occasional outside run. Full house backfield right here. A little bit of high State Woody Hayes. Keeping it in tight. That's a little bit of Mr. Coach Washington. That's his game. Keep it tight. He's been in the game for probably 30 some years, I imagine. I think he's been here for 20. The coach? Yeah. And I'm not so sure he's not upstairs making the calls, too. Big play here, Gary. Quick pitch outside to number 11. But he loses one tackle and gets away and he gets down to about the four yard line, looks, looks like. Looks like he's going to be about a yard and a half short of the first down. That's number 11, Clint Fisher, on the run. Clint Fisher, so we got fourth and one. They're spotted on the four. Looks like a long one to me, too. It's just barely over the five, and they've got to get almost to the out. three. The thing you'll notice, I don't know if Carl picks it up on the camera, but uh, Northeastern coach Wasserman, I don't think I've ever seen anything besides shorts. No matter how cold it is, no matter how rainy it is, he's out there leading the way for his troops and always got his shorts on. We've got fourth and a long one from Definitely just inside the London five-yard line. They've been running it straight at them with this full house backfield. Fourth and one yard. 
There it goes. Number one, Phipps, around the left side. Turn back. He's close. That's going to be real close to a first down. I think he's a little short. London was able to do that last year, last week. Let's see what happened this time. Nice play by number 10, Josh Dickin, on the defense. Came up from his cornerback position. They're going to have to put a measurement on this thing. I think he's short. Northeastern players think he's got it. Well, that's another situation where uh, Keith's got the best angle, Carl said. <laughs> He's dying up there. Gary, while you was out of the booth just a second ago, I was commenting on Coach Wasserman. I've never seen him wear anything except his shorts. No matter how cold it is, no matter how much rain, blizzard conditions, he's we always got his shorts like on. That. We, we had a guy named Mimmitz jumped in an oak run after, after a win. I wouldn't jump in the oak run for nothing unless it's a million dollars. He's going to be short. No, they're finding a first down. Right by the nose of the football. <laughs> Big play for Northeastern right there. They're going to have four shots at it now from inside London's three-yard line. With well, those big fullbacks coming through. I don't, I don't think they'll try anything tricky. This will just be smash, smash, smash mouth, mouth football. football. There you go. Four. That's a big fullback, number 42. He's in. And we have a score, 76. And North Eastern Jets get on the board with 7:35 to go in the first half. Pending the extra point, we have a score of 76. So both teams have shown they can score. 42. Oh, I was some kind of kicker they got. Who's the kicker there? Kicker's number 50. It should be there. It's good. We had all day to kick it, looked like. We had a score of 77. Give a little credit where credit's due. That was number 40, Matt Paul from Northeastern on the touchdown. Big 6'1", 247 pound sophomore. Big man, 77, 735 to go in the second quarter. We have a tie ball game, folks. Don't go away. Seems like to me, Gary, my memory's not very good, but it seems like we always have nice, good ball games between these teams. I, Most like of the time are our good games. It's either good games or it's either one way or run away on either side. How else, how else could it be, I guess? Yeah. It's good or run away. <laughs> that was kind of a no-brainer. I think for about four or five years, these teams do play each other on a fairly regular basis. Okay, as Northeast and Jets set up to kick off, we have uh, Wheeler and uh, Myers back to uh, return the turn the kick off. See if they go along with it. Well, they put it in the air. Kind of got a short kick. Got a flag on the kick. He's going to call offsides, I believe, on Northeastern. Getting a little anxious to get down and get that, make that tackle, huh? Looks like he almost whiffed on that kickoff, Gary. He didn't yeah. seem to get a good, a good, good leg into it. So kind of hit it on the side of the ball. Like saying offsides on London, I believe. <laughs> Football comes flying back through there. Nobody sees it coming. Looks like London must have lined up offside, Gary. Didn't understand their 10-yard territory that they have. From How do you do that? <laughs> Kids are excited, and I suppose they're just not thinking right. But if I was London, I'd move the return men up just a little bit. Think they're going to go deep with it? Now it'll be time for a squib kick, huh? Yep. It's a short kick. Looks like Jordan Brock, 32, is picking it up. And he's, he's got, got a nice hole. He's got some room. He's going to, and he goes, he's taken down at about the 
42, 43 yard line, and he ran right to smack over number 24, who is, he's getting up real Keith Hill. Keith Hill. He put his head down there and right over him. One thing I noticed about Jordan is, you know, a lot of times a player might try to weave his way downfield. Jordan just said, I'm coming at you, baby. We had giving a, you everything I got. Young man quite a few years ago named Dave Tingley ran like that. He didn't didn't go around anybody. He ended up going to Ohio State. That's one. Willard. Willard on the fullback dive. Didn't have much didn't have too much room there to go anywhere at time. And we get a shot of Tyree going back to the huddle. That's a big tight end. He's already been uh, committed to Ohio State. Can you imagine playing against somebody that big when you was in school? It'd scare the heck out of me, Gary. We had one guy that big when I was in school. His name was Ronnie Harbin. No, he wasn't in the band car, but he had, his feet were big enough to go for a few. Uh, five yard line to the ten yard line. And Brock's caught in the back to it. Thomas fly. That's a nice tackle by Keith Hill. He missed him on the kickoff, but he got him that time. Yeah, Carl Ronnie could he could measure off three feet with one foot. <laughs> <laughs> That's big. Gary, it looks like it's gonna be third and ten. This is it's going to be a big down for London if they want to try to maintain any type of field possession. It's going to be a long night for me, Carl. Uh, Keith, I'm not used to staying after you stand all day on your job. And then stand here all night. It's going to be a long night. It's like we had a quick equipment timeout for an adjustment there for London. We're talking third and ten here, Gary. Big play for London. I'd on the 42 yard line. Wheeler to the near side, in low on the high side. Could be a pass. Option. Quarterback <laughs> option, quarterback keeper, and it didn't work nowhere. He's, that play was designed to look like the automatically he's going to keep the ball and go with it. Looked like it was designed that way. And they were just waiting on that. Fourth and eight on a 40-yard line. The Jets are doing a great job of containing our offensive game so far. After that first drive, London got about three first downs, and it's been pretty much shut out since. Oh, Enlow gets off a nice punt, headed over toward the far corner. He's going to pin him down in Inside about the 11-yard line. Inside the 15, like you said, about the 11-yard line. 5.02 to go in the first half. We have a score of 7-7, seven seven, I think. Northeastern Jets take over. So first and 10. Got a marker there. Gary got a kick out of the Springfield newspaper this morning. There's a guy over there who calls himself the Wiz. Yeah. He uh, does commentary on sports and he predicts the high school games. now. To me, there's nothing more dangerous than trying to predict a high school game, unless you're going to predict the locals to win everything, and that's exactly what he's done. He, we'll get to it here in a second. Yeah, he might be. Who knows? He might be right. <laughs> I read that uh, column you know, just about every year, and uh, he uh, does a pretty good job of picking. His comments in here, and I don't know. I hope I don't know if London's players saw this, but he says London gives them a game, but Northeastern takes the win after a tough loss last week in Indian Lake. He's predicting Northeastern 20, London 14. Well, right now we're on crash course for that, <laughs> seven to seven. We'll just have to stick around and see what happens. 4:29 to go in the first half. Second back through. Somebody had a hold of him, number uh, 51 and 4, Jordy Jackson. And who's number 51? 51's getting his first start tonight, Kyle Thomas, 6 foot, 180 pound junior. I'm talking about 51 for London. Yeah. Okay, Kyle Thomas, okay. He was hanging on, looked like he was hanging on to his foot and wouldn't let go. Come back here. 
Kirk also getting a lot of playing time tonight. It's 31, Matt Russell. Yeah, Matt's another sophomore. We're going to his side. Well, that was third and two, and that was a nice possession play by Northeastern. Just a quick swing pass out in the flat to get the first down. I think one thing that Washington is doing is he's more or less scoped out our what we would call rookie players, and he's going after them. these younger players, the sophomores and juniors who didn't get to play that much last year. He's going right at them, and that can make a big difference. That'll, that'll make you grow up real quick. We got 3.41 to go in the uh, first half, second quarter. 7-7 seven to seven to score. First and 10 on the 25 yard line. Northeastern Jets in possession of the ball. Kind of expect a little bit more passing out of Olivier tonight. But their, their ball control offense with their tailbacks and the fullbacks has been so good. Tell you what, that little tailback is so quick. I mean, he's just skirting through there and just pushing people off. And he only picked up two yards. Looked like he should have picked up five the way he was jumping around back there. Tell you, once again on the bottom of the pile there, number four, Jordy Jackson. He's made such an impact this year from his nose tackle position. They had another scat back a few years back. His name was, uh, last name was Hess. Uh, I tell you what, that boy was—he was—he was a trickster to bring down from Northeastern. Yeah. Going to be about second and eight. So maybe a end around number one. Oh, hit, hit. That's Phipps. Beautiful play. Nice tackle by number 25, David Wasmuth, coming up from his safety position. It was a beautiful play by the uh, Latin. This side. It's like we got a flag side, down. Uh, that's going to be a hold on Northeastern. Really? Maybe that's where the hold is at because the left, left side end will just kind of shoved London's defensive man out. Of course, the defensive man for London turned the play back inside, which was, is his job. Well, everything was flowing to the right, and that's where the holding call was at, so I don't know if they got any advantage from the hold, but it's uh, no matter where you hold them at, still 15-10. 10 yards. Everything is flowing to the right. Now, which way are you looking when you're calling it right? That would be the top side of your screen. <laughs> the play was coming this way. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm thinking you know the way. I gotta mess with I'm you. thinking the way the quarterback's thinking. He's in shotgun formation, rolling out to the right. He top got, side. He got all time He's deep. Throw. Going for number one, Phipps. No flag. Good defense. Boy, London had that sniffed man. out. That four white jerseys out there, led by 18 Brandon Wheeler, uh, 10 Josh Dickon, and 25 David Wasmuth. I tell you what, he's getting too much time to throw the ball. If he'd have made another couple seconds, he'd have had to receive a way on down the field because he had plenty of time to throw. We're down to 2:33. A lot of times you'll see First London half. blitz a linebacker, and that puts a lot of extra pressure on the quarterback. I haven't seen London throw any blitzes at him yet tonight. Probably expecting a lot of run plays, so they're playing position defense. Shotgun. Tyree's got a beat on him. Yep. Swing. This guy's a load to bring down. It's number 40. Big, big man. That's Matt Paul that scored the touchdown. He's a 247-pound sophomore. He is a load. What's his name? Paul. Paul's his last name. Matt's his first name. Dusty Jones. It's like less than two minutes left. Putting together a little bit of a drive here, but they're still over 60 yards away from pay dirt. They're gonna punt. That, pen, that holding penalty really hurt him. Myers back, he's gonna get a chance to return it. And he's down on the 40 yard. That will take over first and 10 on the 40 yard line with 142 to go in the... Uh, well, if London, second quarter. We'll have to see here if London's just going to be content to take a tie score at halftime and go on into the locker room, or maybe put the ball up in the air. 
It's hard to say what's going to happen. It's just like I said, we got a new coaching staff, and I haven't really got into the flow of his philosophy yet. I know he's doing a fine job with these kids, and I like what he's doing. It's going to take me a little few games here to figure. Try, try to understand some of his. Well, you don't want to be too predictable as an offense. Yeah. Looks like they are going to put it up, maybe. Oh, Dickens slips. And he's close for about a five yard loss. Yeah, must be Dew must be settling on the grass just a little bit. That's 36 Blake Flora again with an excellent tackle. Nice pressure on the quarterback from Northeastern. You know, looking at looking at uh, second 15, uh, that tie at halftime is looking a whole lot better, Gary. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Get out if we get out of this unscathed, we'll be okay. We're under a minute now. Seven to seven to go in the He's first half. Send two wide receivers to the top of your screen. To Dickens left. They fumble. Dickens picks it up. Fumbles again. It's like he fell on it again. What's going on with that ball down there? I thought last week somebody greased the pig skin, but it looks <laughs> like maybe it might be a little slick again. But yeah, we had at least three fumbles the first half to last week. That was a miscommunication there between, uh, I believe, the center and the uh, quarterback. Happened on the exchange. Looked like from looking at London's receivers, it was a pass play. We're looking at 37 seconds to go in the first half. This game seems to be moving right along. As we have a time out for London, I want to thank all the folks who uh, you will see in the credits. I don't have a list with me tonight. I usually have one at home game who will help to sponsor these ball games. And before the game's over, I'll give you a big surprise what's going to go on next week. So don't go away, folks, because I've got a big surprise coming at you. They do that in network TV, too. They give you a little teaser in the first half, make you stick around watching the end of the ball game. That's right. They make you think Dennis Miller's going to sing or something on Monday Night Football. Maybe I'll sing. <laughs> Shut up, Carl. Dickin' back to pass. That's Wheeler trying to get around that outside. He got room. He's brought down. I think he might still be in bounds. Clock's still running because they got to move the flags. Move the ball clear down to about the 35 yard line. 38 yard line. That's good play on Dickens because I thought he was a kind of. Uh, they got good pressure on him once again. Uh, a lot of pressure on him there. Seems like they're slipping a linebacker in there just about every time. I don't know what London's got up their sleeve, but they got about 35 yards, 37 yards to go here. 25 yeah, seconds. In field goal range. Dickens back to pass again. Short drop. He's running up the middle. Some time out. 17 seconds. You know, we do have a field goal kicker that's capable of putting it out there pretty far, so if we can get another five or six yards, they may bring him out. Saw Sean Myers just come up short last week on a 40 yarder, so. And I don't think wind's going to be a factor here tonight. The flag's hanging straight down. The flag is hanging straight down. So we're looking at a uh, score of 7-7, seven to seven. 17 seconds to go in the second quarter, first and 10 on a 26-yard line after a fine quarterback scamper by Josh Dickens. Josh is only a junior, isn't he? Yeah, he's a junior. Didn't he come out of your program? Uh, you know, he's one of them that just doesn't stand out in my mind. From, from the so you're not going to be uh, 
uh, what's his name? Um, now Jordan Brock, now he stood out in your mind. Okay. Tyree stands out in your mind, but you know, some of these kids at the, at the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade level, they, they just don't stand out quite as much. I thought maybe he's going to be a Zeke Caldwell and tell us how you made him great, <laughs> how they played for you, and how you made him a star, and all this kind of stuff. Tell you what, Gary, if they could pick up about seven yards here, they could be looking at a 35-yard field goal with the time running out. Kind of threw that one in the dirt there, which was probably a good, good play because uh, he was covered by a couple received, a couple of defenders. Pass was probably intended for Wheeler, but he was pretty well covered. He looked covered. to be pretty well covered out there. With 14 seconds left, like I said, if they could get about seven yards here, they could be looking about a 35, 36 yarder. That could be made. The main thing is we want to run it down to where if it doesn't go, we don't give him a chance for a Hail Mary touchdown play. Second and ten. I don't know how many timeouts we got. Short pass. That's out the end low. Looks like he only picks up about four yards. And he gets he get out of bounds? Uh yes, they've called him out of bounds. He's down to the 20-yard line. Seven seconds. This coach is running this like a two-minute drill, college type thing. I'll tell you, something like this takes a lot of practice. I don't think they called him out of bounds over there. That's why London had to take a timeout here. And they're, as of right now, not sending in their field goal unit. Can you, Carol? Can you carry your timeouts over to the second half? So if you can't do that, you might as well use them, huh? That's what they're there for. I'm not sure with seven seconds yeah. left. Well, you're going to have time to get off two plays here. We'll just make the band wait. Who's that down there holding the, the baton? <laughs> Who's that down there holding the stand there, Carl, for the band here on the side of the track? Trying to give us a little publicity to one of our school board members there, aren't you? Is that Tubby? <laughs> A lot of people don't know that nickname, man. Okay, we got seven seconds and going to the first half. They're going to go for it all on yep, a deep route to Wheeler. Picked Almost picked off. That could have been picked off very easy at the end of half. Nothing. I thought we might try for a field goal, but we didn't get that far. So Just ran out of time. We let them know that we did come here to play. Try to score. We have an end of the first half, seven to seven. Stick around, folks. I believe we have the band coming at you.
Rio car. Okay, what are you doing? Rolling, rolling along the river. Proud of Mary. Okay, here we go. We got 37 seconds to go here for the second half starts. We have a tie ball game, 77. And I, if I remember right, who kicked off first? London kicked off first. So we'll get a chance to get to to receive this time. We ended up with the ball. Pretty much just what I expect out of this contest tonight, Gary. It, it's just hard, straight at you football from Northeastern. They're not pulling any punches. Uh, playing good defense, and uh, they'd be happy with a 14-7 win, I'm sure. They're here to win, and I think we'd be happy with one, too. We'd be happy with 13-7, <laughs> or 10-7, whatever. 9-7. <laughs> so we're setting up. we got Myers and uh, Brock back deep. Along with 31 and Willard, who's 31? Matt Russell. Okay. Matt Russell and, and Willard are the up backs. You're right, I should remember that number. And we've seen him kick twice, and both times have been fairly short. That's number 50, Ben Marshall, on the kickoff. He's the one who got the extra point. I'm not sure where Dusty Jones is. I thought, if I remember, I thought I saw him, like you said, cart him off last year, last week on the cart. I think Dusty must have an injury. I do see him on the sidelines tonight. We have an injury situation. It's like a squib kick. Oh, right through the middle. That ball's live, Gary. These plays can go a long ways. Oh, not this time. Hmm. That's some kicks that we used to do back in the day when uh, uh, Tobin won the kick so far and they make him squib kick. <laughs> There's number 30, Chris Anderson for Northeastern. A nice tackle on Jordan Brock. That's usually a sign that they're not, they, they're, they are not, uh, I'm going to give you a chance to make that big long return. So London takes over first and 10 on the 23 yard line. Coming through loud and clear, Carl. Okay. Looks like Dickens is going to get the start in the second half. Must have got a vote of confidence from his coach at halftime. All them votes count. Yep. They come to Brock. Jordan Brock. He gives for about another five or six yards. That was the quarterback who also plays safety for Northeastern, Larry Olivier with the tackle. Olivier, I'm glad you finally got that right along with Phipps. I was going to call him Oliver. <laughs> oh, no. Oliver and Phillips. You know, there's certain parts of this area picked up our, our program. So you probably hear about that. Yeah. Second and five, he picked up five. Second and five on the 28-yard line. London came out real good at the start of the first half. Let's see if they can do it again in the second half. Well, I'm trying to pick up another one or two yards, not too many that time. Somebody got material, Zeke Caldwell's famous saying, get material. He ran into 22 Josh Stoltz, the 227-pound linebacker, a sophomore. So, seeing quite a few sophomores here making some big plays for Northeastern. On both sides of the ball. Yep. A lot of sophomores and juniors. So we got some good ball players. Teams coming up here in the future. They tell me they got a freshman team that uh, with Northeastern is a pretty good bunch. If they stick together, they'll be a force to be reckoned with here in another two or three years. Dickens on the quarterback. Brock. That's a first down, Gary. First nice down run by Brock. Jordan Brock. Good, good job. He came to play. I told him down to. Um, I was at the scrimmage down at Miami Trace. I said, Jordan, you're going to give me something to talk about this year. And he said, just you watch. So this kid's got a lot of confidence. And he works out. I mean, his kid is cut like he's chiseled out of stone. But if we got a few boys on that team who are cut like that. He does lift a lot. Kind of mirror image of me, Carl said. Yeah. Carlson in there for left, that left guard for London, number wish, 55, Travis Brown. Wish you wouldn't look at me like that, Carl. <laughs> Looking back to pass. Wheeler's out there. there. He's got it. Yeah. And it's down to the about uh, 15 yard line. A beautiful play. Just aired it out. Let Wheeler run under it. That was not a play where you just throw it up and let him go under it. That was a play. It was like a timing pattern. He went back and let it fly. And, and I'll tell you what, Wheeler was covered too. 23 out there. 
Wheeler seemed like he got another gear there just at the last second. Yes, he did. Cameron Russell was out there on the coverage, but Wheeler did kick it into gear and managed to get his hands on the ball. Got a good set of hands on him. He does have a good set of hands. Feet, too. <laughs> and wings, yeah. Dicking on the option, pitched to Jordan Brock on the fumble. That's Northeastern's football, number, number 22, Josh Stoltz on the recovery. After a beautiful long distance play there with, two, with uh, Wheeler, London comes up with the fumble and turns over the ball first and 10 on a 10 yard line. Well, Garrett, Jets take over. If you look, they picked up about 60 yards there on that drive, so this could be a good field possession. They can get their defense to come up big here and stop them on three downs. Olivier back under center. Hands off to the tailback. Nothing going there. Looks like, look like 51. Kyle Thomas on the tackle. I couldn't catch the other one. You know, we talk about fumbles and stuff like that, but the tackling is so much different nowadays than it used to be because they don't go after and actually go after it to put you down as much as they do after, after somebody's going after the ball and the other person's going after the material to get you down. So you really got to put a good grip and a good handle on that ball. If you ain't got the strength to hold on that ball, then they're going to knock it out some kind of way. Full back dive again, that big old fella. He's got some room. Brought down by number 51. That's Kyle Thomas again. He's had a good game for his first start here for the varsity. I tell you what, he's a rumbling, stumbling load here at number 40. <laughs> he's a load to bring down. Keep running him at you. He's no sophomore. Yeah, you're right, Gary, on the uh, tackling. The, you know, they see you. See it at the next level, the professional, the college, going for the ball, and then now they just teach it, you know? Here we go. Quick, that's Paul Quick again. Hit up the middle. Big fullback. <laughs> and he's still moving. <laughs> the whole team is trying to bring him down. He's strong. Well, see, it's really getting to the real meaning of football. Everybody thinks it's smash mouth or hurt somebody or knock somebody out, something like that. The name of the game is you got to have the ball. So if you get the ball, you can't score if you don't have it. Yeah. And for years, everybody's thought, well, you know, just make the tackle. And all of a sudden, somebody got smart and said, hey, knock the ball off his hands. Take the ball away from him. Misdirection there. I thought it was going to the fullback. Then I thought he was passing. We find out number one num Phipps, ain't it? Number eleven Fisher had the ball. That was Tyree on the tackle for London. But they continue to run to the left, right over top of their 300-pound sophomore tackle. Yep. And right, right at right at 21 Tyree. There. Coach Wasserman seems pretty much to be right out of the Woody Hayes School of philosophy here on the uh, football. He's just going to be very content to ground it out, and use up all of his clock, and try to just keep putting first downs on the board. He look for a big setup here. He's setting him up. He's going to get everybody in tight, and all of a sudden he's going to air it out. You said it, Hopefully, Gary. he catches off balance, off catches off guard. We got. Uh, 6.42 to go in the uh, third quarter. We have a score of 7-7. Seven seven. Third and one on the 33-yard line. They're 33. Looks like we're going to have a measurement. Looks like he's short from the... But I was wrong last time. Yeah, most of the time you are. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. How about that, Carl? Short by about an inch. Short by about an inch by the Keith Smith angle. <laughs> 
Yeah, one for two is not bad. Yeah. But that is going to make it fourth and an inch, and with the fullback they've got and the backfield they have, this ought to be an easy pickup. Yeah, especially out in the middle of the field. They're not even putting the wide receiver out into formation. Oh, they're coming right at us. Oh, he got more than first down. They just pounded it out, picked up the first down and then some. Almost two first downs out of that one. You know, you get a 250 pound, pound fullback that gets around on the outside and he comes crashing down on a 170 pound cornerback. Uh, <laughs> You better get under his ankle. Get to hit the ankles real quick. You better hit the ankles. Yes. Hit them ankles. Hit them knees. Things are gonna happen. If you grab him by the waist, you're gonna go for a ride. Which is what happened. I noticed Dickens was trying to strip the ball. This young man's probably pretty strong too. He doesn't look that fat either. It's number one, Phipps, around the left-hand side. He's got some room. He's got some wheels. Yeah, Wheeler ran him down. That's going to go for a 36. That's going to go for about a 16-yard pickup and another Northeastern first down. The confidence is building on the Northeastern side here. And they would like nothing better than to rub it in on London because I'm sure London last year, that team they had, had last year, I'm sure London probably wasn't too kind to them. So like nothing better than come out here with a big win for Northeastern. We are at the 542 mark in the third quarter, 7-7, seven seven, first and 10 on the 37-yard line. Northeastern crowd's getting into it, Gary. That's a big fullback again. Call him the monster back. He gets four yards just falling down into the line. Four yards in a cloud of dust, huh? <laughs> Second and seven, they've uh, picked up a little yardage there. We're on the 34-yard line, second and seven. London's defense has got to stay sharp. They need to make sure they don't get lulled to sleep here because Northeastern could, could pop something special out of this formation. And they're using a lot of clock, too. There's a pitch to the outside. He's got lots of room. Wheeler and Russell on the tackle. Russell on that tackle that time. But not until we had another Northeastern first down. Northeastern's kind of moving the ball at will, aren't they? Yeah, they're eating up a lot of clock, too. That Phipps is just running wild. You were we were talking about they didn't wasn't sure they had the kind of speed, but I was told earlier they had some little speedsters and they're showing it. A little tricky running back to the fullback again. Matt Paul. Big Matt. Second and seven on the 20 yard line. They've uh, Went quite a bit, of, quite a bit, <laughs> get it right, Gary. <laughs> that was a tongue twister, quite a bit of distance there. Since taking over the ball, taking over that fumble on the 10 yard line, wasn't well, it? They're, they're picking up three or four yards of pop and they're moving the ball right on down the field. Watch the pitch. This is Roll Phipps out. on the outside. He decides to turn it in. Olivier decided to turn that play in. Looked like to me he might have had an advantage of pitching to the outside. Look from here. Couldn't tell for sure, but it looked like the advantage would have been the pitch out. Looking at 3-3-3 three, three, three and, and counting. 7-7. Seven seven. Ball's on the 17-yard line, third and four. Well, no surprises from Northeastern so far on this drive. It's just been straight at your football. Smash mouth football. That's what Coach Wilson calls it. There's a little trickery. Around the outside. There's a four out of bounds at about the eight yard line. 
That's going to go for a Northeastern first down. First and goal from about the eight. Northeastern is steady moving that ball. No, it looks like they're going to call him out on the, about the nine. From the ten. Gary? Isn't that ironic how you get a first and goal on a ten? That's twice that's happened, which means they can get a, a um, another first down inside the ten yard line. Another four yards inside the ten. Quick hitter of the fullback again. I guess the situation how they scored on us the first time. I think we're going to see probably four doses of Matt Paul right here, the big 247-pound fullback. Big Matt Paul. He don't look no ways tired either. Nope. Of course, when you're doing stuff like that, the drilling gets the flowing, and you uh, automatically go with the flow. He's in. Ball for a there you are. No football. Here's a hit. 13 to 7. As they light up the commercial squad lights. <laughs> it's a big day down here at the Corn Festival, isn't it? Yeah. They ain't taking much time getting lined up either for the extra point. Misses that one. No, he didn't. It's good. He made that one. Barely three. It's good anyway. 14-7. But Leonard's got the work cut out for him. 2.15 to go, and they took a lot of time off the clock that time. We got 2.15 to go in the uh, third quarter. Oh. North Eastern just go ahead, 14-7. Well, London got the first possession of the second half and then drove it down to about the 10, lost it on a fumble, and then they come back 90 yards for a big time possession score. Yeah. Shot her own stuff in the foot. That's, uh, I don't know what to say about that. So I don't say nothing. <laughs> well, got to be impressed by Northeastern. Nothing fancy there. I mean, their, their fanciness consists of a pitch going to the outside. Everything else was just straight at you. We're, yeah. we're coming at you. We're coming through you. And with Northeastern's defense, the way they've been playing tonight, seven points might might hold up. Well, if Leonard holds on to the ball, we got a good chance of making something happen. Set for the kickoff, we got uh, Brock and Myers back. A sophomore, two sophomores. Two sophomores back, and it's like Coach Calhoun does like to use some of his even if, even some freshmen on special teams. He's down. That, the field has not very, been very kind to us. I have to check with the uh, fire department out here, see if there's that water <laughs> down the field. <laughs> Somebody put some slippery stuff on London's cleats or something. Yeah, we made the kiss. It looked like I don't know if he's trying to cut back and hit the wall or what. By the time he caught the kiss, it. by the time he caught it, there was no turning back. Well, it's going to be first down for, from London at their own 21. Looks like, looks like Dickens still in a quarterback. Done a nice job so far tonight. Done a really good job. First and 10, 21 yard line, 14 to 7 Northeastern. And up Jordan Brock. And I tell you what, the confidence has really been built up now with the yeah, North, team. Northeastern is playing with a lot of confidence right now on defense, led by number 36. Blake Flora, he's he's had an outstanding ball game tonight. He's a junior. So this Northeastern team next year's, if they can find somebody to replace their quarterback, they're going to be loaded. They're not looking all that bad right now as far as none of the concern. 
second and almost ten. Picking back to pass, nowhere to go. He's an elusive runner. Man, is he quick. Fumble. I knew it. Northeastern picks it up. Too much juking and jiving, and next thing you know, the ball's going and where you are. Well, let's hope London comes away better from this turnover than the last one. Last turnover, even though it was 90 yards away from pay dirt, led to a touchdown for Northeastern. So, time for a very tired defense now for London to come back and yeah. see what they can see what they can do. That's twice we've shot ourselves in the foot. Have we got a timeout, in London? That happens a lot though. When you get to jumping around and, and dodging tackles and stuff like that, sometimes you forget. Man, I gotta hold on this ball too. Man, I don't really know. I look, I'm not that close to the action I see where the ball was punched out or knocked out of his arm or what. However, whatever happened, the ball come out. And uh, that's cost us two possessions right there. One touchdown so far. I'm sure we're working on that in practice. It's just like, you're talking about some young players, too. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot of time left in this ball game here. If London could put a stop on here, cut the whole fourth quarter to go, and you're only down by seven, so. I'm sorry. That's okay. Phipps around the outside again. Looks like we're going to have a, a flag, flag down the in the field. That looks like to be a hold on the outside or could. Now one thing you want to do, the first thing, two things we said at the beginning of the game is you don't want to let Northeastern get their confidence built up. Because once they do that, uh, you know, any team gets a conference built like that, they just start rolling and things, just good things happen for them. Right now we got a penalty against Northeastern. Looks like it might be a mark off about 10 yards. We got 113 left in the third quarter. We had that Northeastern drive ate up about eight minutes of the third quarter. So Northeastern takes over the first and 18 on the 39 yard line, leading 14 to seven. Olivier is back to pass. Man's wide open, but we got to, this one's there's coming there's... back, Gary. This one's coming back. Eastern. I know the fans hate that. With the hold, if he hadn't held, would it have made that much difference? If he hadn't, if he hadn't held, London would have had two guys sacking the quarterback. Okay. They end up with one one offensive guard back there, and he he just basically grabbed onto two of London's defensive chargers there. So. And this is play has just been working up to this play here, like they, he grounded the ball out for the first touchdown. And all of a sudden, he opens it up to play. I'll tell you what, London needs to learn from that, too, because uh, 23 was wide open here on this short Nobody side of the field. Nobody nowhere near him. Nobody nowhere near. So there was a real breakdown there for London on coverage. But there's another situation where mistakes, you know, we're not the only one making mistakes. So that, that holder was a big, big thing that cost him a touchdown. So mistakes are running on both sides of the field. We're looking at first and 28, Gary. We have to get our zoom lens to find the first down marker. Yeah, it was first and 18 before, wasn't it? Yeah. Olivier to run <laughs> it up the middle. Not much going there. Number four, Jordy Jackson, 31, Matt Russell on the tackle. Is that a design play, Keith? It looked like it might have been a broken play. I'm not real sure. He didn't look back to pitch to anybody. He just took off running. So yeah. it, it could have been a keeper. 
This little quarterback's pretty cool now. He's able to put the ball out there to, work to the receivers he's trying to get it to. So we'll have to watch him pretty close. Well, even when he hands off the ball, he carries out his fake, and that's real important because when he doesn't hand it off, and then he goes back. And we got to reverse. reverse with a pass. He's going to throw it. He's wide open. There's nobody, nobody there. near him. And a saving tackle by number 25. That was Wasmuth to save the tackle on the saving play there for London. But all so much for the conservative ball. Yeah, they lulled you asleep. Yeah, I'd say they kind of lulled London to sleep and ran that double reverse coming around. And number 23, Cameron Russell, hit Phipps on a wide open pattern down the middle. Pulling out, of, pulling out of all the stops. If we in the first quarter, or the third quarter, we score 14 and 7. And Northeastern Jets are knocking on the door, first and six on the six yard line. Start the fourth quarter. Of course, with the Northeastern crowd right here in front of us, it sure sounds like it's loud, but you're right, it is loud. This crowd's very yeah. excited for their football team. And they, they have reason to be because London has really not been very kind to Northeastern in the past few years. So, matter of fact, I think we've been switching off wind, so it's Northeastern's turn, you think? I think it's Northeastern's <laughs> Eastern, turn, but. <laughs> I wouldn't just not tell Coach Calhoun to, to give up from here. Oh, no, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, the year before last, Coach uh, Fisher kind of put it on us. So then we did it to them last year. Now they're taking their shot at it. So we got to score 14 to I remember to right, we've had, in this series, we've had some overtime contests. In the past 10 years, we had one game that was stopped because of lightning. I had to come back the next, next day. Game. Yeah. So, anything can happen in the Northeastern game. These teams do have a good rivalry. Well, the Jets are uh, living up to their name because they're definitely putting the ball in the air. Like that, Carl? The Jets? <laughs> That's a big pullback. Oh my goodness, look out. Well, the Wizards uh, getting pretty close to what his prediction was. A score of 20 to 7, Northeastern Jets. London has gotten a steady dose of Matt Paul inside the, inside the red zone tonight. And he's a load to bring down. This Marshall on to attempt the extra point. It's a high snap. Two's throwing it. And almost made it. That's the regular quarterback as the holder, Olivier. He made a nice toss to number 40, but just couldn't quite complete it. Now that's a play I, I'm not too sure about. If he's down on his knee, when he catches the ball from the snap of center, is that, should that be down? That's one of those we're going to have to ask about, Gary, because I don't quite understand that one either, because that's one difference between pro, the pro game and the college and high school game, is if you got a knee down, you're down. Okay, as we go uh, into the fourth quarter, only took him five seconds to score. <laughs> 20 to 7, Northeastern Jets. Yeah, for two teams that aren't in conference, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe these schools are only 20 minutes apart, but this has been a pretty good rivalry. Really good series. Friendly rivalry, I would say. Yeah, so far it's been very, well, I don't know, a couple years I've seen it got a little heated, but. Um, now speaking of heated rivals, Gary, what was you going to tell us about next week's ball game? Oh, uh, next week we got uh, West Jeff. I look for a similar contest against West Jeff, and also we plan on running uh, the 1994 game on Tuesday night and the 1995 game in London West Jeff on Wednesday night. Uh, approximately, they'll be run around uh, five o'clock. Squib kick by Northeastern will be picked up by Sean Myers. 
He's got some room. He's got some room. He's going. He won't go down. Hold on to the ball, Charlie. He's taking down on the 40 yard line. We've had some really good returns tonight on both sides of the field, both sides of the ball. The uh, Northeastern Jets have had returns like that. London's had a couple of long returns like that. Now we just have to capitalize on it and keep on going. Take it on past that zero mark where it says the goal line. London's got to find the end zone here pretty quick and try to get back in this ball game. There's quite a bit left in this fourth quarter, and I've seen London score at times very, very quickly. But, uh, Down 20 to 7, 11 46 to go in the fourth quarter. Jordan Brock with Brock. Almost, almost a 10 yard pickup there for the Red Raiders. Running the tail back there, and about nine yards on that play. Making it second and one. Gets all the way to about the 31 yard line. You know, a lot of times on a second and one situation, you almost have a, a play to give here. You know, you're in four down territory. London's got a field goal is not going to do them much good. They've got to keep going for the touchdown. And I maybe they might get, waste a play here and try to go deep. I say we go and get the, get the yardage. Too much time. The ball, the, who was that, Brock again? That was Brock. That was a little bit of a delayed hit. You know, or not a delayed hit on the defense, but a delayed handoff from the offense. And yeah, just gave Northeastern way too much time to react. As soon as he had, was handed the ball, he was hit. Third and one. Up again. That's Jordan Brock again. I'd Jordan say he's Brock. short, Gary. Tripped up short. Caught in the backfield. Unless he got a favorable mark. We're not even going to measure that. Yep. Fourth and one. Mars brings a play in. Northeastern's going to stack the line. Yeah, they're not taking any chances on this one. That's Dickon on the keeper. He's got it. He should have it if he don't. Probably like to have his helmet back. Yeah. Save your head, huh? That was a long one, though. Yeah, it was a nice run. It's going to be a first down for London. Goes to show you, you know, quarterback's not always a glory position, you know. That's right. You got to uh, get down and dirty with the rest of them every once in a while. And right there, you know, Dickon had to stick right. his nose right in. Right now we're down to under nine and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and we're down two touchdowns. That really got there to work his magic. It's not going to be none of that by number. That's 23. That's and 23. Wheeler. Russell Cameron out there on the defense. Wheeler's down. He's not moving too quick. He's holding his leg, holding his knee. Looks like he might have got a cramp, maybe. I hope that's all it is. He's on his calf, kind of like a cramp, maybe. Hopefully that's all it is. Yeah, we've got a timeout on the field. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what we're talking about. Next week has been declared London West Jeff Week, similar to Ohio State Michigan Week. And London and West Jeff are very good competitive rivals. And uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to take the uh, 1994 game, we're going to put on TV um, Tuesday night, uh, approximately 5 o'clock. So turn to check Channel 11 and watch for it that night. And then we'll come back Wednesday night and put 1995 game, which will be a win and a loss by both teams, leading up to the big play game on that Friday. And we also have uh, 
West Jeff is going to have some sponsors who's helping sponsor this. They're all excited about it, and they're going to help sponsor this along with our regular sponsors from London. So, look forward to a big week next week. West Jeff game and London. Plus, West Jefferson comes up with a big win tonight. We could be looking at two one and two football teams going at it. Yeah, you're right. Normally, we got a couple three and O teams going at it. <laughs> Still going to be an excellent football game. I'm I look sure. for it to be a good game because the most of these teams we're playing right now are pretty young. We're young, and most teams we're playing are young. So it's a matter of who's going to mature the quickest as we get a measurement here. I see where I got a spot. It's good. First and ten on the 29 yard line. That was too close for even me to call, Gary. <laughs> I guess we didn't have the Keith cam that time in. <laughs> Carl said that was your best angle all night and you yeah. couldn't make the call. <laughs> Tell you what, if London can punch it in here, we might have a ball game. The main thing right here is to hold on to the ball. Willard. That's Willard. He's still fighting. And I'll tell you what, if you can see there, they had a hold of the ball. Oh, they yeah, almost they struck it out of his hand. Ball. They almost drug the ball out of his hands. You know, maybe maybe 20 years ago that might have been considered poor sportsmanship uh -huh. to try to steal the ball. Yeah. But now that's a part of football. It happens at every level. So yeah, I don't go back prepared. quite that far, so I wouldn't know much about it 20 years ago. <laughs> Being serenaded by the band, it's London's second eight on the 17-yard line. Dives in here. Oh, and fumble the ball. Down. Touchdown. And they're going to call it. Oh, Northeastern's not going to agree with that. Fumble the ball out of the end zone. They're saying he wasn't. They're going to give him a touchdown. They're talking about it. What is wrong with her? It's, it's, if he fumbled the ball through the end zone, it's their ball. From what I'm seeing. Looks like to me, Gary, and I don't know what we caught on TV, but it looked like he fumbled the ball about the one yard line. I can't and, believe this. And fumbled it, not out of the back of the end zone, it went out of the side of the end zone. We're gonna call it a touchback. Give Northeastern the ball at the 20 yard line. And I think after they reviewed it, I think that's probably not a bad call. Yeah. I can't, I can't believe this. We just, uh, I've never seen London team fumble like this. I just don't believe it. 20 to 7. Northeastern takes over on the 20 yard line, first and 10, leading 20 to 7. Time for a quick stop by London if they want to get back in this ball game. That would have been a 14 to 7, or 14 to 20 game there. That turnaround could really cost us. We got uh, eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Now I'm going to do the Washington and pound this out now. I don't think it's going to take a real genius to figure out what Northeastern is going to do with the football yeah. here in the last Coach half Calhoun of this is trying game. to figure out why, what his call is overturned when a man was right there called a touchdown. you camera man how close was that on was, was he in the end zone I think London's going to so. get a steady dose of number 40 Matt Paul here after further review uh, the call was overturned it was a good call it was overturned yep I think we're going to keep the clock running now oh yeah which makes that wizard look that much more Knowing what he's talking about. What he gets it at 20, 2017, 2014, or something like that. Second eight on the 22-yard line. Here comes the Northeastern Jets. They're grinding out, and they got a little 
Nice run there by Clint Fisher. He's been doing it all night for Northeastern. And they're just going to ground out these first downs. They're, they're playing pretty solid football. Looks like Tyree and Willard on the tackle there. Fullback again. That's almost a sure thing there. Looks like he's got the first down. <laughs> Somebody put a big, awful big hit on that number 72. How big is he for uh, Northeastern? 72 is that 300 pound sophomore. 5'9, mm. 300. He's, he's been playing opposite Tyree and doing a nice job on him. He took a roll that time. When you're that low to the ground at 300 pounds, you're kind of hard to move. 5'9. 300, that's not quite as chiseled, maybe, as some. All that meat and no potatoes. <laughs> Where's the beef? We're down to the six and a half minute mark. They're going to try to keep that almost that's, a little mix up there. That's Phipps around left end. Tyree on the tackle. A strip of tip was no good there. They've been running right at Tyree quite a bit, and he's still still made a lot of tackles tonight. Looks like he's coming out of the ball game now, and Gandy's going to come back in. Well, I was reading the comments that was made last week in the paper where we lost, but we beat ourselves. And from the looks of things, we're doing a pretty good job of doing the same thing again this week. Well, we don't want to take too much credit away from Northeastern, but yeah, they're oh, there's a big old fullback. But yeah, the, uh, yeah, he's strong. He's very strong. The, the penalty, or the, the, the turnovers tonight have definitely been a big factor in this Back ball game. This game. I think that's why they invented the football to be oblong. <laughs> <laughs> so you can knock it out of their hands, huh? Yeah. It's like third and one. Gee, Gary, I would never figured. It's the fullback running the ball again. <laughs> third and one, which makes it first and ten, and they're going to move the ball all the way down to the uh, I can't see the yard markers. It's like about on the 52, Gary. 52A. Dude, they haven't crossed the 50 oh, yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it looks like they're on Northeasters on the road 44. Yeah. And this drive's eating up some time, also. Less yeah. than five minutes to go in the ball game. And right. That's Phipps again around the left side. Another study, four yards. Phipps and Paul keep their ball moving, keep the clock rolling. London's defense has got to be tired. They've been out there an awful long time this second half. Biggest part of the game, Northeastern's leading on a score of 20 to 7. We're down right at the four minute mark now. Second and seven on the 47 yard line. Looks like the left-hand side of Northeastern's line lined up offside. Doesn't happen very often, but the yard marker is right in front of us, right there, Gary. Yeah. Hey, Carl, you got, you got, you got the, the Keith view here, Keith cam. <laughs> For this Serena Williams match was over. I was kind of curious to see who won that. <laughs> oh, didn't she get beat, la beat last night? Well, one of them was playing today. Oh. It was when I left home. Look at here. Number 11. 
That's Fisher again. It's either Fisher or Phipps. Fisher or Phipps or Ball. Or ball. They're just slowly grounding out those yards and moving that ball, moving the chains. It's going to bring up third and about three and a half. And Northeastern puts together a couple more first downs here. And uh, who do you think's going to get the ball? <laughs> Don't put the pressure on me, Gary. Oh, come on. Put the Keith cam on him. That's Paul again. He just got to turn around and they're running, running sideways. I'm not even sure he knew where he was going that time. I don't know how many assist, assist tackles you'd have to give to London on that particular play, but there's about six guys bringing down big number 40. I would call that a misdirection because he was good. when he got turned around, I don't think he knew what direction he was going. Looks like he's running toward the left the sideline. The under two and a half minute mark, and uh, looks like London just substituted about four new fresh faces on defense. Fourth and three. Oh, it's a punt. Yeah. He's gonna split the gap. The ball's gonna go down dead. Looks like at about the one yard line. On the one yard line. You believe that? When it, when it rains, it pours. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> You're right, Gary. Well, it looks like they can't do anything wrong tonight. <laughs> you know, Northeastern North Spunner did a nice, nice job with that. <laughs> Prescribe here for London's offense. But you're looking at 99 yards, 99 and a half yards to go. Got in the wide to this side. Down by two touchdowns with less than two minutes to go. It's kind of hard to be optimistic. Never say die. That's a, that's Jordan Brock. He's still fighting away. Yep, you got to keep going no matter what situation is. If we go down under two minutes, we got to score. Do we have a two-minute timeout? No. Nope. That's professional only. Oh, that don't even happen in college, Gary. Dang, oh. <laughs> but London's going to hurry up off on the offense. No TV time. Dickens in the shotgun formation, back to pass. Nowhere to go. And he's nearly caught in the end zone. Well, I think it's safe to say that uh, the Jets are going to pull this one out. Crowd here when it on the uh, northeastern jet side of the field. But, barring a couple turnovers, and this would be a pretty, pretty close game. Actually, it's been a very close ball game. You know, London has had a few sustained offensive drives, uh, and actually, probably has a lot of total yards tonight. Yeah. But, uh, a little miscue here and a little miscue there, and it'll change the whole whole complexion of the game completely around. You take those turnovers, when we'd be looking at that, almost a tie ball game. Yeah, absolutely. But it's a game of that. The would haves and could have, you know. Yeah, woulda, coulda, and shoulda. That's football. Looks like London's going to get an illegal procedure and half, half the distance to the goal is going to put them back about the one and a half yard line. I don't think we needed that. Well, Coach Dustin and Coach Calhoun's getting a really good break in his first head, head coaching job. Starting out anyway. Back to pass in the end zone. He's got in low. Yeah, we had the receivers crossing a cross pattern there. I think it kind of tripped up the defenders. That looks like it is going to be enough for a London first down. We're going to wait for the chains to be reset, and London's going to go ahead and snap it right away. Dick 
Ryan in the shotgun. It's rolling left, looking for Myers. He's just going to run it. He's going to pick up a block downfield. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, Sir, where he's in the yard pickup by Josh right. Dick in there. So got to move the chains again. I think he might have went out of bounds. We're going to stop the clock. Find out here in a second. like they're saying he stayed in bounds. London's going to have to snap it right away. Minute seven left to go in the ball game. No, I think he might have had to stop the clock. Might have went out of bounds. Let's see. Yeah, clock got rudder. He must have caught him out of bounds. So a minute and seven, and down by 13 points. Check with the call cam upstairs. He said he went out of bounds. Dickin and shotgun formation. Two receivers to the bottom of your screen. Wheeler's open across the middle. He's going deep for Inlow. It's not there. Oh. Defended by three defenders there. Again, that one picked off. Had, uh, Wheeler was open across the middle, but I think they were looking to defend deep all the way. Yeah. Almost in a prevent type I believe defense. Believe if had a little, if uh, Dickens had a little more arm there, it might have been Endo might have been wide open for the, an easy pick off there. But anyway, we're going to 58 seconds to go in the in the contest. Well, I think we saw Northeastern conceding the shorter pass to defend the deeper one. And, that's why they had so many men back here on the play. Which is smart. Second and ten, oh, under a pretty heavy rush. <laughs> like they went to Enlo across the middle. Oh, they could give up a touchdown and still not be hurt the way they hold on to the ball. Barring any crazy thing going on. We've got a third and two now on a 35 yard line. We got 53 seconds to go in the gut contest. Let them down. Northeastern safeties are almost 30 yards off the ball. Definitely, a there's lots of room underneath. The heavy rush coming. Dickon gets it out. Ooh. Nothing doing there. Well, nice there could have been an injury. Nice defense by number 34, Adrian Cooker, and number 23, Russell Cameron. He's had a nice ball game tonight. And a real good job. Well, Gary, this is for all the marbles. 44 seconds it. left. Fourth and 10, 35 yard line. What do you call here, Coach? Uh, I call send the bus driver to warm up the bus, Gary. <laughs> We're going to definitely concede the short pass. Ball is thrown slightly behind the uh, thriller. So, Northeast and Jets will take over on downs. 40 seconds to go in a contest, losing 20 to 7. You know, I think once again, you know, London shouldn't go with their heads down after tonight's ball game. Uh, it seems like a decent football team from Northeastern. Uh, some talented kids, some big kids, big kids. some good underclassmen. Uh, but if one for just one play here and one play there, and little slippery turnover here and there. Uh, this is really a whole different ball game. So I don't think London should go away with their head held low. Well, and it's also a boost for Northeastern School because since Kitten Ridge come into existence, Kitten Ridge took a lot of Northeastern kids away from here. But Northeastern used to be a pretty good powerhouse. And then they split the school system up. And so Northeastern is kind of on a rebuilding station here. But I hear they got a heck of a freshman class coming up. So um, we're going to... But we've got a good bunch of kids coming. This got, got a few kinks we've got to work out. Seems us. We're not into the to the um, what do you call it? The league league party season. So we still got a good chance to win our league. They'll probably take a knee and, go, and get out of here with the win. Well, I think that's important. League. I think league play does start next week. Actually, that is a non-league game though, in against West Jefferson. I'm not sure. What do you say, Carl? Non-league. 
Yeah, it's a non-league ball game, but still, you know, London still has a chance to farewell in their league and possibly go for a Central Buckeye League championship. And I think you can possibly lose two and still uh, depend on what the point status is, but uh, you can lose two and still go to the playoffs, too. Mm -hmm. So London's going to come out here with a 27 loss. Once again, this is Jerry McNeil. And this is Keith Smith. Saying so good night and thank you and hope you enjoy the game and get ready for next week's contest with West Jeff. Carl, you finish it off whenever you're ready.